All right. Shalom to the nation of Israel, the elect. And first and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Um, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick video, uh, exhortation video for the, the believers out there that's in the faith and that's following along um, uh, of the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay, through prophecy and through the men of the Lord, okay, of the prophets <clears throat> that's out there teaching through the street ministry of the word of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And basically, the title of this video and the topic I'm going to go into today is the rest, okay? And I mean, when I say rest, I'm talking about the coming kingdom that who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, is going to establish for the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel consider the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that descended out of that bloodline by the seed of your father, okay? Because contrary to popular belief, when it comes to the Holy Bible, the scriptures, who the world calls God, Yahweh, is only dealing with one nation of people. And once again, that's the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And at this time, only the elect, which considered 144,000, and the one third is going to be delivered, and that's going to be the first fruits and the, the establishment of the kingdom, okay? The foundation of the kingdom, once Yahweh Shai established the kingdom here on the earth, okay, after the great judgment, starting with America, Babylon the Great, okay? Which eventually, as is prophesied, this place is going to be destroyed. By the way of the Third World's War, by the way of the Third um, Third World War, by the way of thermonuclear missiles, okay, and also the the land of Israel with the small hatters over there, the 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 counterfeits, okay, but the difference between those lands, between this land and the land of Israel, this place is never going to be inhabited again once this place be destroyed, okay, by fire, okay, it's not going to be inhabited by mankind again. Okay, only thing that's going to dwell here and live here and make this place's habitation is uh, desert creatures. Okay, but the land of Israel, which is going to be destroyed by fire, okay, is going to be restored back to the rightful owners, start with Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And that's, what's, that's where it's going to be our rest. Okay, and what um, inspired me to do this video that you had Apostle, Elder Apostle Gabar from the Great Millstone main camp, okay, uh, did a sit down video earlier today. And throughout his lesson, he talked about arrest, okay, which is going into the kingdom, okay. And that's what we desire and we're striving for, us that's in the faith. And, you know, and newcomers, when it comes to brothers and sisters that's listening and taking heed, okay? Because this place, America, is not our rest, okay? This place was set up to be our captivity, our punishment from the Heavenly Father and the Son, okay? Due to our rebellious, due to our disobedience, okay? Going off after these false gods, these idols, falling after the hedonistic ways of these customs of these other nations, okay? Therefore, through prophecy, we're at the point of time of here in our captivity, but also through this word getting getting pushed out or being pushed out, okay? This word is now gathering the elect. And one of the main things 
we let our people know while we out there teaching us that's involved in this ministry, start with the men of Great Millstone and the brethren on down, okay, that's out there teaching his word, that this place is not our rest, man. That Yahweh Bashim Shai have an everlasting kingdom that's going to be prepared for us, okay? And that we're going to rule in the near future over our enemies, starting with Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations, okay? Esau, Edom being the so-called white race, okay? And the rest of these heathen nations, okay? Hey, okay, so once again, this, you know, a quick exhortation, okay, that, you know, inspired me from the video that Apostle Gabar did going into the, um, that this place is not our rest, man. Okay, we have to understand that, especially us that's in the faith, okay, that's, you know, that's out there teaching and knowing about the prophecies of what's to come. Because we come into the time of, of Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose. We come into the time of strict legislations, okay, draconian measures, okay, uh, strict executive orders, the time of martial law, the time of uh, uncivil unrest, okay, uh, 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 civil war, race wars, the Third World War, as I make mention, okay, plagues and pestilence, okay, such as these food shortages that's going to lead to famine, power shortages, okay, uh, uh, droughts where there's no water, you know, et cetera. Because we're in the time of Yahweh Bashim al-Shah bringing destruction and bringing his wrath by the way of plagues upon America, uh, Babylon the Great, and also worldwide. But the key point I want to touch on is that this is not the end of the nation of Israel, okay? Once Yahweh Bashim al-Shah bring destruction, because what this world has taught that when it comes to the end of the world, okay, mainly what these Christians are thinking that, that the Lord is going to bring judgment on the whole world, though he's going to destroy the whole earth, and that's going to be it. There ain't going to be no existence, no more existence of uh, 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 people, of uh, 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 the nations, okay? What's that stupidness, okay? But what's actually prophesied in the scriptures that after America, Babylon the Great is destroyed, and at the same time, Yahweh Shai returning with the host of angels, the chariots, what the world call UFOs, okay, to bring the deliverance to the elect. It's going to be a kingdom that's going to be established, which once again is going to be our rest, okay? And we understand also that according to biblical prophecy, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native American descent, is not going to make it into the kingdom on the first go-round. Okay, they're going to have to perish. They're going to have to be judged for them not receiving his word and not repenting and not acknowledging Yahweh Bashim al Shai being a power and not acknowledging their true inheritance, but want to steady on going after the ways of this world, following the system by the way of Esau Edom rulership. Okay, but us of the hopeful elect that we pray that we part of that number to be delivered, a hey, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Is going to have a glorious kingdom that's going to be prepared for us, man. Okay, a, a, a righteous kingdom. And therefore, that's where we're going to be at rest. Okay, but for right now, it's all about enduring, uh, uh, pushing this word, okay, uh, 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 acknowledging the law, statutes, commandments, and keeping them to the best of our ability, the high holy days, and exalting Yahweh by Shema was shy, and constantly looking for the Lord to redeem us. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the scriptures and I pray that this video be edifying. Okay, this lesson and I'm gonna start off with Micah chapter 2 verse 10 and it says arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. Yeah, and when we say bring this scripture out, okay, it's going into a spiritual aspect of arising and departing out of this place mentally. Okay, coming back and acknowledging um, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, when it comes to the laws, statutes, commandments, when it comes to prophecy, knowing that what times that we in, measuring the times as the scripture says, okay, uh, second Edges chapter nine, okay, because we know that these signs are pointing toward uh, the coming of Yahweh Shai, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, 
And before Yahweh shall return, as I may mention, great judgment is going to take place, especially here in America. Okay, which this place is still our captivity. Okay, so that's why Yahweh Shemal Shah set up the prophets, start with the men of Great Millstone, okay, to go out there and teach and give warning to our people that great destruction is coming and they must arise and depart out of this place mentally, okay, spiritually. They leave off from these hedonistic customs. They leave off from the mindset what America pushes, okay? Well, as they pushing all these abominable works that's contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shai by them not, or this government not upholding the law, statutes, commandments, okay? And it says, Arise ye and depart, for this, this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. Yeah, this place is polluted, man. Okay, America is filled with abominations, man. And also, Apostle Gabal was going into the word or the meaning of the word America, okay, which it means bitter. And this place is bitter, especially when you come into this truth and you under, uh, understand the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> and you understand uh, uh, through your faith. Okay, that we come to the conclusion that this place is, is polluted, man. Okay, everything that this place push is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And look at the alternative lifestyle of these people. Okay, that when you stand up and speak against wickedness and evil that's going on, okay, you deem as an outcast, you deem as a, a screamers, a radical. Okay. And that's the time that we're coming into. This place exalt wickedness and abominable deeds before they exalt righteousness and truth. Okay, so this place is polluted. And we see what majority of our people's mind frame is at here in the times that we are in. As this truth is being presented to them and they refuse to uh, not to hearken. They refuse to not to repent. They refuse not to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Shai and not to acknowledge their sins. Okay? But furthermore, they scoff, they scorn, they make mockery. Okay? When it comes to the two-thirds of our people, the wicked ones of our people here in America. Okay? So therefore, they're polluted by the ways of America, which is going to lead to their destruction once Yahweh Bashim Shai bring these plagues, man. Okay? But for us, the whole elect and those that's taking heed, we're coming to more and more of an understanding that this place is not our rest. Okay? And it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And we see how destructive uh, America has been to the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, us as a whole, man, throughout all these years since we uh, was conquered and enslaved over here, okay? Start with the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and still to this day, okay? And in the near future, as it prophesied, the nation of Edom, starting with these elites, on down to the lesser luminary ones, we know that they have an agenda to furthermore to advance, or trying to advance our enslavement by introducing the NWO, which we're coming in that time now, okay? And we know ultimately they want to um, stamp everybody with the MOTB, the micro, okay, the CHIP, which is writ written in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, as the world is moving toward a digital currency, okay, to, to get rid of the old financial system by getting rid of the, the dollar, okay, the cash back, okay, and replace it with the, the CHIP. Okay, leading to a, a digital system. And, and Revelation 13, verse 16, tell you about how they're going to go about with it, man, by putting it in the people's hands, forehead. Okay, as you can see, more and more news clipping or articles, okay, that's coming out, presenting uh, uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, and that's going to be another way of uh, advanced enslavement okay, to the whole world, but mainly to the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, the Israelites, as Esau Edom, trying to gain his birthright, trying to gain total 
control and, and rulership over all nations, but especially the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And through that process of them doing that, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed. There's going to be a lot of tumors, calamities, tribulations. And the only way that you can prepare yourself for that is coming back, repenting, and acknowledging you how about Shimei was shy when it comes to this faith, by the way, of the ministry of the prophets, and to come back to serve you how about Shimei was shy and pray that you be exempt from the time of trouble, from the time of destruction, okay, which the elect is going to be exempt, okay, which is going to lead to what? Yahweh Shai bringing salvation for the elect, which, which also is the coming and issuing in the kingdom, okay? And, and it starts with the great awakening, okay, of this word being published worldwide, especially here in America, okay? But we know that this place is not our rest, man. And this place is heading for a sore destruction, okay? Uh, that's it on that. Let me get on... Um, Psalms, and another thing we have to, we also know that the Lord is going to bless us with when it comes to the kingdom, the new bodies, okay, the um, immortality, okay, immortal, okay, because once Yahweh Shah delivered the elect, these bodies that we have is going to be changed, and we're going to have the law, statutes, commandments, which is the, the the new covenant in our inward parts, in our mind, in our spirit. Therefore, we're going to live forever. We're going to be righteous. We're going to live forever, man. Okay, which is another way of the kingdom and another uh, part of our rest. Okay, because long as we're here in America, we're going to be in these corrupt bodies, this corrupt flesh, which is subject to sin. And sin is what? Transgression of the law. And due to that, what? Sin also leads to what? Death, to judgment for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, but part of the rest in our kingdom that we're going to live forever due to the new covenant, the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. Okay? So why are we here in this current time uh, striving for the kingdom? Okay, we also understand that we need deliverance from this corrupt flesh. Okay, the sinful flesh. Okay? And that's why we're hastening in the coming of the day of the Lord. Constantly looking at the, the prophecies, the signs. To know that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is that close to bring deliverance for us of the hopeful elect. Now let me get this. This is Psalms chapter 37, uh, verse 7. And it read, and it says, rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who, who prospered in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And that's going to Esau Edom. Okay, the wicked. Okay. And one is, well, as I may mention, his devices is going into his NWO, being spearheaded by his technology mainly by the way of the MOTB, what they want to implement and put put into play, okay? That new digital currency, okay? Right along with the rest of the technology when it comes to transhumanism, biometric, okay? And when it comes to his laws that he's going to enforce, okay? And they painting it up as the way of, you know, the way of uh, the new way of life. And make everything so easy and smooth. No conditioning the people. Gradualism. Okay? And they promoting it. Okay? Through their media. Through their news. Through their movies. Okay? Their shows. Their commercials. You know, the TV. Okay? And a lot of people, they're going to be taken by the uh, the devices of the wicked. But us, of the whole elect, we know what the will of Yahweh Shem Shah is. That's why the scripture says that we're not ignorant to Satan devices, okay? And Esau Edom is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, okay? As he's coming with his witchcraft, his deceivingness, okay? Uh, his lies, okay? To, to you know, to um, trying to gain the people trust 
to uh, conform to this NWO. Okay, but the elect is not going to be taken by that. Kawhi, Yahweh Shemal Shah had gave the elect the understanding through prophecy to know that once again, this place is going to be destroyed and that Yahweh Shah is coming back to take Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations that's in league with them out of power and to set the nation of Israel back up in the power, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, start with the elect, okay? So that so us that's in the faith, we know that great trials and tribulations are coming, and we pray Yahweh Shem Yahshua we will be exempt by being part of the elect. So therefore, we have to rest in the Lord. And it comes with understanding the wisdom, knowledge, understanding that the Lord gave us, okay, by the way of the prophets through the ministry, okay, through the spirit. So that's why it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. And that's what we're doing, waiting patiently. Okay? And we know that we're that close to Yahweh Shai returning by the way of the prophecies coming to pass. And things are happening. Okay? The plagues that's hitting. Okay? And it said, fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, yes. So we come to the understanding and we have to have the faith that Yahweh Bashim Yashah is going to destroy this place, America, okay, which is the stronghold of Esau, Edom, of these elites, okay? And he's going to bring down all rule stunt with Esau, Edom. Once Yahweh Shah return and establish his kingdom, which, which again, by default, the kingdom of Israel stunt with the elect, okay? And that's where We've, we definitely going to have that rest, okay? Us of the hopeful elect. So that's it on that. Um, I'm going to go a chapter over, and I'm going to get Psalms chapter 38, verse 3. And it says, There is no soundness in my flesh because of thy anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. Because once again, man, this place of America, okay, which is prophecy, this place is our captivity, okay? This place is our, our prison sentence for the time that Yahweh Bashim al brought us over here as a whole, as a nation, okay, to serve our punishment by Yahweh Bashim al sending Esau, Edom, and these other heathen nations over us and putting these curses on us, which is written in Deuteronomy chapter 28, Verses uh, 16 all the way throughout verses, uh, verse 68, okay? And we understand that us that's in this faith that's coming back, that has been called, and pray that we're chosen to be part of the elect the two to be delivered, okay? Because long as we're here, man, we're going to experience more and more hell, okay? And that's why we're hastening the coming of the day of the Lord. And we know that this is not it. Okay, and that's the, the spirit and the faith that Yahweh Bashim Shah gave us of the hopeful elect to know that this place is not our rest once again. And that Yahweh Bashim Shah uh, only allowed this to happen to us due to our disobedience, due to our rebellious against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Once again, which is prophecy sake. And so just as the Lord had brought judgment upon us, Okay, he's going to bring mercy upon us. And it's already written. Okay, that's the whole purpose of the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did for us, the nation of Israel as a whole, but starting with the elect 2,000 years ago when he went to the cross and was uh, resurrected. Okay, after the third day that he went back up into the heavens, now he's on the right hand side waiting patiently to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Get him to go to come back and to deliver the nation of Israel start with the elect. Okay? But for right now, we have to go through the trials and tribulations and the adversity and the chastisement, us that's in his faith, waiting for Yahweh Shah return. Okay? And being, you know, purged and seeking to be delivered. And we also come to the understanding, as our apostles and elders always go into, hey, we have to know evil. Also, to understand good, we have to know both sides of the coin, okay, say to speak, okay? And that's what's going to make us true gods. Because when you look into the word or the name Israel in the Hebrew, 
Yahshua Allah, it means he prince of God or he prince of power, which the word God means power. And the only way we become a true God, okay, we have to know good, but also evil as well. So we can be righteous judge. Another way of saying a God is judges, okay, to be a judge. And that's what we're going to be in the kingdom, starting with the elect, the 144,000, okay? We're going to be kings and priests, and we're going to be judges over uh, 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 the uh, other nations, starting with Esau, Edom, okay? Uh, that's it on that. Okay, but, but for right now, man, we have no rest here. Let me get uh, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Because this is what's going to keep us stable in the times that we're about to enter into. Okay? And that's why also the scripture says what? The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of a sound mind. Okay? You have a sound mind once you come to the understanding. And Yahweh Shemal Shai give you the spirit to understand the times that we're in through the Holy Scriptures. Okay, and that we're able to uh, the knowledge the ways of Yahweh Shmuel Shah, which is going to keep us stable in the times of turmoil, in the times of trouble, as, as Jacob's trouble. Okay, Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven. But the, as but the meantime, as as well, majority of our people they're not going to be stable because they make not Yahweh Shmuel Shah this truth. They they stronghold. They did not make the Lord their covering, okay? The death for Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to give them over to the judgment, to the plagues, okay? That the Lord got in play for this place, okay? That he got set through his righteous anger to bring judgment upon this place, okay? The two-thirds is going to feel the wrath for the Lord, but the elect is going to be stable, okay? Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom and knowledge and the true format that we have received through the true teaching that Yahweh Shemal Shai, that we believe that our apostles and elders have and have teach to others that like-minded of the hopeful elect, that this wisdom and knowledge this wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures and understanding these prophecies and the times that we're in is going to keep us stable, okay? Especially when it comes to uh, uh, praising and having faith in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father name and His Son, which is going to be our stronghold, okay? That's going to be our defense, okay? That's going to be our covering and knowing what in store, to know through prophecy and understanding that that we're not not going to uh, take the MOTB, okay, that we're not going to trust in Esau, Edom, and his system as he's trying to endorse and push forth his NWO, okay? We're not going to follow the ways of the heathens, okay? We're not going to follow uh, 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 the ways that Esau, Edom got set to fall the more to implement the MOTB, Okay, that's part of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's going to keep us stable, us or the whole fillet. Okay, to know what the MOTB is and not to take it and know the consequences of taking it. Because the ones of our people that take that MOTB, that micro, they're going to be destroyed in those missiles. Okay? So that's it on that. Because like, like I may mention, the name of Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to be the defense of the elect. And that's part of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's going to keep the elect stable in the times to come. Let me see. That's um, Proverbs 18. Let me find it real quick. When it says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. There we go. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, okay, which is Yahweh, and the which is the Heavenly Father name, Yahweh, which is his name is He is, He is this, okay, and the Son name, Yahweh Shai, which is uh, meaning He's the deliverer, okay, and that's what Yahweh Shai coming back to do in the in the in the in the power of His 
uh, uh, of his father. Okay. The, okay. The second coming of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the elect that's deemed to be delivered. Okay, it's going to have the true names of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is that covering, which is that strong tower, that defense in the time of, of trouble. And the Lord said that they're going to be safe. Okay, and that's what number we're striving to be part of, us of the hopeful elect. Okay, so once again, man, knowing that, that we know that also that this place is not our rest. Okay, the, 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 for the Lord to say that, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. That his name, okay, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the names of the Lord is going to be a defense in the time of trouble, okay? Meaning that it's going to be a deliverance, man. So that's it on that. Let me see. Um, Yeah, yeah, let me go to the book of Malachi. Um, uh, Yeah, Malachi, because once again, we know that this place is not our rest. And once Yahweh Shai return, He's going to deliver the elect, and that's where we're going to uh, be at rest, man. Because once again, these, these flesh, okay, which the scriptures call the chain of darkness, okay, uh, that we, we sin, we subject to sin, we subject the, the ailments, to, you know, to diseases, sickness, illness, and this world is polluted, okay, by the way, a, a GMO food. Uh, uh, chemtrails and toxin in the air, toxin and contaminated water, okay? You know, which is under the rule of Esau Edom. And look at the condition of the people, man. Okay, the ecosystem is failing. Plants and, you know, vegetables and fruits are dying off. Cattle, you no know, animals, okay? You know, as a whole... Uh, the, the earth is failing, okay? But once Yahweh shall return, he's coming back to restore everything in his uh, rightful order. And the earth is going to go back to its pure strength, okay, as it's supposed to be, okay, under Yahweh shall rulership and us, the Israelites, okay? Now, let me get this. Ma Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. And it says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And that's Yahweh Shai. Because once Yahweh Shai return with the, the, the angels, the chariots, what the world call UFOs, which making their presence known daily. Okay. But when they ultimately make their entrance of the Lord's second coming and deliver the elect, Okay, as I made mention earlier, the elect body is going to be changed. Okay, to immortality. And therefore, we're never going to get sick again. We're never going to be subject to the, the ailments uh, uh, when it comes to certain diseases. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim al once again, going to come back and set everything back up in its rightful order. Start with the, you know, the ecosystem. Okay, the earth is going to go back into its pure strength. Okay, as such as, as ever since the beginning. But it says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Okay, the deliverance. And shall and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Yeah, so going into the prosperity that and the blessings that Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to store upon us in the kingdom. Starting with the Lord delivering the elect. And the, and the kingdom being established here on the earth, man, at calves and stalls, okay? A calf and a stall represent what? They, they shelter, they're being taken care of, okay? They got grass to eat, a calf, you know, going into a, a, a cow, okay? So that's symbolic for the salvation and the Lord restoring everything back in the righteousness to the fullest, okay? And it's going to go by the way of Yahweh Shemal Shai, uh, uh, raising up the elect in that time also to establishment judgment on the earth, authority on the earth. And everything from there on out is going to go back into his rightful order. Okay, everything is going to be uh, plentiful. Okay, everything is going to go back to fruitful, 
okay? Uh, 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 multiplying, okay? Uh, 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 everything's going to go back into his, uh, once again, right for order, okay? Everything's going to grow properly, man. Earth is going to yield its, its, its true strength. And that's under the rule of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which also means what? Our rest. Okay, the kingdom being restored. Okay, so that's it on that. Okay, and that's what Yahweh Shai has come back to bring. Let me get this. This is Genesis 49, verse 10. And it says, the scepter shall not depart it, shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, okay, until Shiloh come. And Shiloh is going into Yahweh Shai, okay, and Yahweh Shai is from the tribe of Judah, okay, which is the head tribe, which is the so-called Negroes today, okay, and that lawgiver represents also what? The law, statute, commandments, in our inward parts, the new covenant. Because contrary to popular belief through Christianity, will this world teach that the law, statute, commandments are done away with due to Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, okay? No, man, Yahweh Shai came to establish the law, and it's going to be more in the full effect in the time of the kingdom once the new covenant is established, okay? Starting with the elect, okay? But it says when Shiloh come, that's another title for Yahweh Shai. And Shiloh means peace. And that's where Yahweh Shai coming back to bring peace to the nation of Israel and to the earth. Okay? But Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations, they ain't going to receive no peace. They're going to receive judgment. They're going to they're gonna receive slavery. That's their future for a thousand years up under us. Okay? The Israelites. But that's going to be peace for us. Another way of saying what? Rest. When the kingdom is established. And it says, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And the gathering of what? The nation of Israel start with the elect. Once Yahweh shall return with the angels, the chariots. Okay? So that's it on that. Let me get this. Um, Second Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 7. Okay? And it says, unto you who are troubled, rest with us. Okay, and that's going to us, the hopeful elect, man, because we're in trouble. We know what's to come, especially in the times that we're in. Okay, we know that the times that we're coming into is going to be great uh, uh, um, turmoil, calamities, great destruction. That's going to lead to death, mass death. As the Lord say, the slaying of the Lord shall be many. Okay, and that's uh, including two-thirds of our people. A uh, 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 Negro, Latino, and Native American descent of uh, Israel, right along with the rest of these heathen nations that have no guarantee of salvation. Okay, the Lord's going to bring judgment upon them as a whole here in America and worldwide, but especially here in America, man. Okay, but us that's in the faith, okay, we know that we're approaching the time of trouble. Okay, we know well, what the Lord is about to bring through these plagues. Okay, but knowing that, that we know that Yahweh Shemal Shai will is to do these things. We know it also that Yahweh Shai will to the elect to be delivered. And we have that chance by this calling and, and striving to be part of the chosen, man. Okay, by staying on the right path. Okay. As we seek in the Lord daily and worshiping the Lord and exalting the Lord daily. And it says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Yeah, another way once again. When Shiloh shall come. Okay? By the way, the angels, the Lord is going to bring that peace. Okay? By the chariots. The, by the deliverance for the elect. And, and from there on out, it's going to be a, a rest forever for the nation of Israel. Once the kingdom is established. But right now, we have to go through the trials and tribulations to reach that point, to that point, to endure to the end, to be to to be the saved man, to be saved man. So that's it on that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get um. Uh, let me get um. Uh, Matthew. Chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. Okay, and this is red letter. 
meaning that Yahweh Shai spoke these words. At Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's where the star set. When we call into the truth, okay, there's a part of uh, labor. Okay, part of that labor is this ministry. Okay, start with the men. Okay, to go out there on the highways and byways to teach this word. Okay, the heralding, the, the coming of uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, his second coming, giving warning and prophesying. Okay, and also uh, uh, striving to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, knowledge in the high holy days and keeping them to the best of our ability. Okay, uh, a man that's coming into his faith and, and believing, okay, and, and seeking the Lord and doing the will of the Lord, and women as well, okay, that we're laboring to enter into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh rest to, to, to be delivered, man, okay. As we're in this uh, uh, sinful kingdom, okay, that which is uh, also what leads into what uh, heavy laden, okay, the vexation, okay, the corruption of this world, man, and as also once again this flesh, okay, that constantly go off and that's subject to sin, that's subject to ailments, okay, catching hell, man, okay, at the same time keeping our integrity. To serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to, to be delivered. Okay? And it says, And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn, and learn of me. Salaki. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Okay? Because this truth can be like a, a yoke. Okay? And Yahweh Shai say, If any man come to serve him, let him deny himself and take up his cross. A cross is represent of a, a burden. Okay? But Yahweh Shai had took his took took in our burden and we have put it on well Yahweh Shah put it upon itself, man. Okay? That's why we go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for the want of all things, especially when it comes to help and endurance. Okay? For wisdom to give us that increase. Okay? So it says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Cause once you come into the truth, as the scripture says, you know, as where he where he gave John the Revelator the book to eat, and the book represents this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, and it said John said what it was sweet in his mouth as honey, okay, which honey can be beneficial, okay, but it says that it make his belly bitter, okay, and honey can also be bitter too, uh, to the to, uh, as as much it, it depend on as the intake of honey. A person can eat, okay? It can be a beneficial to your health, okay, and, and, and goodness and righteousness and healing, but too much of it can be uh, uh, bad as well, okay? But that goes into the bitter part of this truth, okay? Knowing what the outcome of this place, the prophecies, the, the wrath of the Lord, judgment that's going to come upon the earth, okay? Seeing the wickedness of our people, like I said, the vexation, okay, the the, the 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 laboring we had to do in this world to make it, okay, the you no know, working and you know being subject to payments, being up on the Esau Edom, the curses, okay, but that's part of the 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 balance, knowing good and evil, okay. Once again, but it continue on, it says, take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Okay? And it says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, and that's how it's going to be. Okay? When it comes to serving you, how about Shema was shy? Because although, you know, it, it might seem like the, the truth is a burden, but in all actuality, hey, how about Shema was shy? It gave us a blessing, man. And the, and the scripture says, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Because although we know what's happening now, but we understand once again that this place is not our rest. We know it's a better outcome than this, that we're not going to be enslaved forever, that we know that the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back to take our enemies out of power, stone with Esau Edom. But two-thirds of our people, they don't have that gift. They don't have the, the eye style to see that. They don't have the spirit to understand that. Okay? So furthermore, they think that this place is going to continue on. Okay? But they don't know that all hell is about to break loose. And the outcome of it, okay, once again, 
that this place is not our rest, that Yahweh Shah is coming back to establish uh, a kingdom, okay, for us. Oh, so that's it on that. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me go to the book of Hebrews. Let me see. I got you know scriptures writing, uh, written down. And I'm praying that this lesson be edifying. It's, you know, it's edifying. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. And it says, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any, and, and any of you should seem to come short of it. Yeah, so it's all about endurance, man. Okay, to enter into the, the kingdom. Okay, which is going to be salvation once you have a shall return. For unto us was the gospel preached as we as also as well as unto them. Salaki. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Okay, and that's going to the two thirds. Just as back then they rejected the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay, and at this time, also as well. Okay. That two thirds of our people rejecting the words of the Lord. Okay, because they're not mixed with faith. Okay. And once again, faith is a gift that's given unto the elect. And it says, For we which have believed do enter into his rest. And the elect is going to enter into the rest by the way of salvation. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. So it already was predestinated ever since the beginning of the world. There are any times that the elect is going to receive the truth and ultimately you know, uh, receive salvation to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get on this real quick. And that's what number we're striving to be part of. It starts with understanding this truth, okay, the calling, and ultimately to be chosen. Ephesians chapter 1, and I'm going to get to the point. Let me see. Uh, I'll start off at 2. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 2. Grace be to you and peace from Yahweh our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord. Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Yahweh Shah. So the elect is going to receive the 100% truth, okay? Contrary to popular belief to the other Israelite camps and people that saying that there's no 100% truth, okay? But let me continue on. Verse 4, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Okay, ever since the foundation of the world. Okay, the elect was already chosen. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. And that's the will of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it's all about the elect. Okay, not your own self-glorification. Okay, exalting yourself. It's all about Yahweh Shemal Shai choosing you from the foundation of the earth. And in these times, we, we striving to be part of that number by giving diligence to make our calling and election sure, okay, that we are found worthy, that we are part of that election that was already predestinated, man. Okay? So everything is the will of Yahweh Shemal Shai at the end of the day. Okay? But right now, it's all about endurance as we have this understanding. <laughs> Because a lot of our people, they don't have this understanding. And you have a lot of individuals that once came into this uh, ministry, departed, man. Okay, they fell out, they left, they got disenchanted. Okay, but that's all the will of the Lord. Some of them became scoffers and scorners. Okay, teaching false doctrines, bringing in denimable heresies. Okay, but that's the will of the Lord. And show you that they never really truly believed. But the elect is going to uh, stay stay firm, okay, until the end when it comes to understanding this truth, the truth, the true doctrine. Like why? Because it, it was already predestinated. Now, let me get back to uh, Hebrews chapter 4. 
um, verse 3. And it says, For we which have believed do enter into the rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in certain places, in certain places of the seventh day on this wise, as Yahweh did rest the seventh day from all his work, okay? The creation of the earth, okay? And the Lord rests on, this, on the seventh day, which represents the seventh thousand year, okay, by the way. Because a day to us is a, a, a one day to us is a thousand years in the spiritual realm with the Heavenly Father, Okay? And that's where you get the word Shabbat from, or the Sabbath. The word Sabbath don't mean seven. The word Sabbath, Sabbath means rest, okay, the day of rest, okay, which is a how holy day we keep by the way of the, the, the new moon, okay? But that'd be a, another topic for another uh, day, okay? But that's what the Sabbath mean also, or, or rest. And it says, and in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, Seeing therefore it remaining that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Okay, and that's going into the two thirds. Okay, but it also going into the you know, back then you had those wicked scribes and Pharisees that didn't accept Yahweh Shai and didn't accept the Israelite foreigners when it comes to the Israelite foreigners, which was known as Gentiles back then. Okay, but today you have our people that not believing in Yahweh Shai, by the way, there's ministry being presented to him, okay, this greater awakening, okay, by the way of the Hebrew Israelites, by the way of preaching, okay, once again, the two-thirds, um, and it says, again, he limited a certain day, saying, and David, today, after so long time, as it said, today, if ye hear his voice, harden not your hearts, and that's what we're telling our people out there, okay, not to harden their hearts, man, Okay, because we're coming in the time of great judgment. Okay. And it says, For if Yahweh Shah had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Yeah, so going into the kingdom. Okay, if, if the Lord didn't speak of the kingdom, it, it, you know, it, it would have been you know, in vain. Okay, the Lord sacrificed. Okay, prophecies, the promises the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shah store upon Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and which which eventually uh, the nation of Israel, okay, but it is going to be another day, which is that rest, eventually the kingdom being established, okay, and it says, there there remain therefore rest to the people of Yahweh, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, and as Yahweh did from his, so it's all about works too, right along with faith, the enter into the rest, okay, the enter into the kingdom, okay, to be delivered, okay, salvation. And it says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Yeah, so we want to enter into the rest of Yahweh Shemiah Washai by giving diligence to make our calling election sure and pray that we part of that election, which was predestinated, okay? You know, look, looking for that rest, okay? And not to be disenchanted and fall out and go up into the ways of the world, as many has done, okay, as majority of our people are in the ways of this world, and, they're, and that's and they're not and they're not gonna be delivered, man. Okay, but us are the hopeful elect that's in this faith, man, if we're striving to keep pushing, to keep fighting, and we're gonna enter into that rest. And we almost there, man. So it's all about endurance, man. Okay, and and, and being in the meek spirit, a humble spirit, and constantly Serve you how about Shemiah was shy. Exalting you how about Shemiah was shy, man. Okay? And, and having it works and faith hand in hand. Okay? To serve you how about Shemiah was shy. That we found worthy to be delivered. So that's it on that. Okay? Because once again, man, the Lord, Yahweh Shai is about to ring supreme, man. And that's going to be our rest. Now I get these last two scriptures that I got written and I'll get ready to close out. Ephesians chapter third, is so like it. Ephesians chapter three, verse 21. Let me see. And it says, unto him be glory in the church by Yahweh Shah HaMashiach throughout all ages, world without end. 
all men. Yeah, so Yahweh Shah kingdom is going to be a world, an age, which is going into a rulership, dominion, okay, without end, an everlasting kingdom. And that's our kingdom, man. That's our rest. We're going to have an everlasting rest, okay, under the rulership of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And as I may mention, man, it starts with the elect entering into that rest, okay? And as a whole, Israel is going to be delivered, going to be saved by the way of, you know, the elect, okay? Because two-thirds of our people that die on this side and that have perished and that's in the spiritual realm, okay, as, as well, you got the elect, certain members of the elect in the spiritual realm, but as a whole, the nation of Israel is going to rule. And the two-thirds of our people that perish, they're going to come back through the seed of the elect once the kingdom is established. And the elect members that allowed it to be martyrs that die in this truth, they're going to be the first one risen up once Yahweh Shah return to establish the kingdom, starting with the elect. Okay? You know, you know say it like that. But the two-thirds of our people, they're going to have to come back in the kingdom by being the offspring or the children or sons and daughters of the elect through the act of sex, okay? Because we're going to be here on the earth through those extraterrestrial bodies, but we're going to live forever in righteousness. Okay, let me get on um, Daniel. Now, in off with Daniel 7, verse 13. And it says... And I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. So uh, Daniel describing Yahweh Shai. Show you that Yahweh Shai is mentioned in the Old Testament for your Old Testament only uh, Israelites. Okay? Uh, Old Testament only believers. Okay? Of uh, the Torah. But which the Torah is the first five books. Okay? But for these old. Testament only Israelites, okay, or individual that just believe in the Old Testament, don't believe in Yahweh Shai, Daniel saw the vision, okay, and the book of Daniel is in the Old Testament. He's seen the, the vision of Yahweh Shai returning. And it says, And I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. And the Ancient of Days is who? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Show you that, show you that they're two separate entities, man. Okay, that they not just they not one. Okay, they want to they don't they don't want a court. They in one mind frame, but they two separate entities. Cause you have the the teaching that uh, uh, God and Jesus is the same entity. They the same person. Okay, which that's nonsense. Okay, but this is another example that Yahweh Shai uh, was presented in front of his uh, father. Okay, the ancient of the days, Yahweh, and it says. And it says, And the Son of Man came with the clouds of heavens and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion, glory, and the kingdom that all people, nations, language shall serve him. And that's going into literally all nations, okay? Because we're going to, as a as the nation of Israel, we're going to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But these other nations, they're going to serve us through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's going to be the dominion of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And it says, And his dominion is an everlasting kingdom which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Okay? So that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the kingdom that's going to be given unto the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Okay? Which is going to be our rest. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, I'm going to go ahead and end off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakal, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And all truth is sincerity. Until the next time, Shalom to the house of David, which is also known as the elect, the elect of Yahweh Shai. Shalom, stay strong. We almost home.